Hello students. Welcome back to the class. Hope you all are fine. Children, today let us go through the poem On a Bicycle written by Yevgeny Yevtashenko. In this poem, the poet talks about his frenzy and delight to ride his bicycle. Before getting into the poem, let us know about the poet. Yevgeny Yevtashenko was born on July 18, 1923. He is Russia's best known poet. He is a novelist, essayist, dramatist, screenwriter, actor, editor and film director. He died on 1st April 2017. Okay children, let us now go through the poem. Children, all of you know what a bicycle is. And I am sure that all of you have had the experience of riding a bicycle. You might have also faced many problems while learning to ride a bicycle. Initially, though you find it difficult, one day you would emerge as a successful bicycle rider. In this poem, we can see how the poet loves and enjoys his Sunday ride on his bicycle. Okay. Under the dawn, I wake my two-wheel friend. Shouting in bed, my mother says to me, Mind you, don't clatter it going downstairs. Children, in the first line, I refer to the poet. Here, the poet tells that he takes his two-wheel friend in the early morning in order to have a ride. The poet loves his bicycle and enjoys his ride and the company. So, the poet calls his bicycle as his friend. Now, where is the bicycle kept by the poet? The poet has kept the bicycle on the first floor of the house. So, when the poet takes his bicycle, his mother who is still on the bed shouts at him or instructs him telling that he is not supposed to make any clattering sound while taking his bicycle down the stairs. I walk him down, he is springing step to step. Those tires he has. If you pat him flat handed, he'll bounce your hand. You all know children, what happens when a bicycle is brought down the staircase, right? Now, when the poet brings the bicycle downstairs, he springs or jumps. The poet tries to pat him. Here, him refers to the bicycle. So, what is the figure of speech, children? It is personification because inanimate object or lifeless object is spoken of as having life. When the poet pats the bicycle, it would bounce back to touch the poet's hand. I mount with an air and as light a pair of legs as you'll encounter, slow into Sunday ride out of the gates, roll along asphalt, Press down on the pedals, speeding fearless, ring, ring, ring. You see children, it is Sunday. So, it is the time to enjoy his ride on the bicycle. The poet comes out of his gate, climbs the bicycle and starts riding it on the tar road. The poet feels he is not riding on a bicycle. He is actually gliding and flying with it. How does the poet ride his bicycle, children? Yes, he is not at all frightened. He is fearless and he rides his bicycle very fast. Flinging along my happiness, my fever, incapable of breaking out of it, overtaking the lorries on the road, taking each of them in a swoop. See, children? When the poet rides his bicycle, he is very happy and he is very excited as well. He is unable to control his happiness. The poet is incapable of breaking out of fever because he is extremely happy with the thought of riding his bicycle. You see children, the poet sees some vehicles on the road. Children, when you ride a bicycle on the road, you need to follow the rules. Bicycle ride can be dangerous if the rules are not being followed. But what does the poet do? He rides his bicycle very fast 
and overtakes the lorries on the road. Flying behind them through cut open space, hanging on them uphill. Yes, I know it's dangerous. I enjoy it. They hoot and lean out and yell out. Okay. Flying behind them through cut open space, hanging on them uphill. The poet chases the lorry and passes through the cut open space, heading towards a higher ground or slope. In this way, the poet overtakes the lorries. Yes, I know it's dangerous. I enjoy it. The poet admits the fact that he rides his bicycle very fast and he also knows that it is very dangerous. But the poet tells that though it is dangerous, he enjoys it a lot. They hoot and lean out and yell out. Children, here they refer to the lorry drivers. Now you see children, the lorry drivers lean out or bend and scream out when the poet overtakes the lorries. We'll give you a hand on the hills, give you some speed. After that, you tear along on your own. The lorry drivers also tell him that they'll help him in giving space when they reach the hills. Then he could speed up and take his own way. Careering full tilt, pelting along in a flurry of jokes. Turn a blind eye to my crazy career. It's the fashion. In spite of the warnings, the poet enjoys his Sunday ride very much. That is, he moves rapidly, turning a deaf ear to the advice given by the lorry drivers. You can't tell me how terribly I ride. One day, I learn how to ride. Here, the poet confesses to the fact that he is not a good rider, but one day he would learn the tricks of the trade. That is, he would learn how to ride the bicycle correctly. So children, in the first part of the poem, the poet talks only about the delight and happiness that he achieves while riding his bicycle. However, in the second part, he also owns up to his responsibility that he knows that he writes in a terrible fashion, but one day he will learn it. The poet begins the poem with the scene of early morning when he wakes up and starts right away with his bicycle. The poet's mother warns him that there should be no sound while he gets out with his bicycle. Once out on the road, the poet speedily rides his bicycle and he overtakes the big vehicles on the road. However, the poet also tells about some dangerous stunts that he does on the road. Other drivers passing by warn the poet. In spite of the warnings, he enjoys the Sunday ride very much. At last, he tells the readers that one day he would learn how to ride the bicycle correctly. Thank you.